Well, hello there, friends, ladies, gentlemen, fellow firearms enthusiasts. Welcome to Crooked Horse Rifle and Pistol out of Lamar County, Mississippi. And I hope all of you are having a wonderful Christmas. Now, with you know, with friends, family, and I also hope that you know maybe you woke up in the morning and maybe Santa left you something cool, like right, maybe this uh. Henry lever action rifle, the 4570, or maybe a new pistol. Maybe something like this Springfield Armor, Springfield Armor SA 35. So starting with the Henry, you know this Henry rifle. Again, it's the chambered in 4570 government. Now this round. was originally a military caliber back in the 1870s. So this here was a lever, ac lever action rifle. Has a magazine, internal magazine, that can all be you know, loaded at the side gate here and can be loaded at the tube. like so it is blued steel and we got you know the brass fittings some nice lovely brass right here and a nice brass butt plate and you get an american walnut stock with some nice engraving and some stippling there for you know positive hand grip now this rifle has an overall length of 37 and a half inches and weighs about seven pounds. Now if you're looking to purchase this rifle, you're looking to spend probably around you know $989. Fortunately for me, I paid nothing for it. I ended up winning this uh, rifle some time ago at a Friends of NRA auction. Or, or uh, Banquet, I should say. So let's put some put some ammo in this thing and see how she shoots. I've not fired this rifle yet. I will say that this right no, this particular caliber and this rifle was designed for big game hunting. So hopefully, this thing doesn't knock me on my butt. So we got four rounds. We're going to feed them through the side gate. You know, there's just something rather nostalgic about a lever action rifle. Especially growing up watching the old westerns, you know, like the Rifleman. See if I can hit anything. Bam! Woo! Yeah, got my coat. Yeah, let's go to that 80 yard tombstone target out there. Wow! I think that knocked my neck out of alignment there. Jesus. So, no. I, I don't know if I want to shoot this one anymore. I, I might need to give my body a little break. You know, rattle my brains a little loose there. 
Eh, what the hell? Let's grab four more rounds. This time we'll two feed it. And when you tube feed, when you're putting the rounds in there, you don't want to be holding your rifle so them rounds are slamming into the primer. I think I'm done shooting this rifle for a while. Man. You feel that through every inch of your body. Well, I think I just destroyed my shoulder for a while shooting that. And now I can see why it only holds four rounds. After that second round, you really don't want to be pulling that trigger anymore. And quite honestly, you know, the 4570 government's not a cheap round to shoot. You know, for a box of 20 cartridges, you're looking to spend anywhere between $45 and $65 a box. So, definitely not a plinking gun. Well, my, well, my friends, after shooting that, I'm ready for something a little bit lighter. How about this Springfield Armory SA-35, the high-power clone? This here is a single action only, chambered a 9mm, and it's carried in a cocked and locked position. Just similar to a 1911. Now since this is a clone, it will accept all high power magazines and comes with one 15 round magazine. We have a carbon steel frame with walnut grips with a nice amount of stippling on it for good uh, hand control. For our sights, we have a white dot front sight. Then we have a blacked out rear sight. Now with Springfield Armory signature U-notch on there. Another thing that uh, no difference, you no know, with uh, you know with the Springfield Armory, you no know, high power versus the original. They uh rounded the uh, the butt of the, of the pistol there so it's not sharp like the original like an original high power so in, in addition to the frame being all you know carbon steel it's also got a matte blue fish finish 
and uh, I will say this is you know, just holding it you know, very comfortable in the hands this is a uh, Now it is a high power clone, so it stayed true to the, you know, except for a few subtle differences that it has stayed true to the original. So, let's load this magazine up and see how she shoots. Now the magazines that uh, Springfield Armory use, they're Metgar magazines. Or at least this one is. If I can get a bullet in it, didn't think that 4570 would mess me up that bad. Well, if you're looking to purchase a high power, you know, this particular high power clone, you're looking around spending $750, you know, for it in your local big box store. And I am starting to see them in the display cases at your local, you know, at the big box sporting goods stores. For the longest time, you know, you couldn't find a single one. In fact, when I purchased this one here a while back, you know, it was the only one that they had. And as soon as I saw it, I snagged it on up because there was no telling how long it'd be before they would get another one in stock. And incidentally, I didn't spend seven hundred fifty dollars for it. I think I paid like six hundred forty-nine. We got a magazine loaded. Let's shoot this thing. So if you're a fan of the high power, you're going to like this pistol. I promise you that. Uh, very comfortable to shoot. You know, and uh, just gives uh, you know, credence to why you know, militaries and law enforcement agencies around the world have issued the Browning high power to the you know, you know, to their personnel. Now, interestingly enough, the United States has never used the Brown in high power. Uh, well, anywho, I'd like to thank you for coming out and joining us out here at Crooked Horse Rifle and Pistol in Lamar County, Mississippi on this fine Christmas day. I got to cut, wrap things up, cut things a little short. Got a ham in the oven. Got a turkey I have to throw in the deep fryer and you know, a couple of other things I need to make. So until the next time, my friends, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and thank you for shooting with us.